Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a full face using only products that you can purchase under $10. I really want to show everybody that buying cruelty free makeup and cosmetics does not always have to be expensive. So a lot of drugstore companies do test on animals, but there are quite a few, well, not really quite a few, but there are some that are affordable and are cruelty free. So this is the look that I came up with. It's definitely dark. However, it is fall, so I kind of wanted to make something fall time appropriate. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see how I got this look and all the products that I use that are under $10, $10 Canadian as well for all of my lovely Canadian viewers. So yeah, if you wanna see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to start out with is brows. Um, to do this, I actually bought this just for this video. It's the Milani Automatic Pencil. I got the shade Three Natural Taupe. So I'm not gonna use this, but I just wanna show you why. First of all, this color is not taupe. It's very, very warm. Second of all, I was applying it to my eyebrow just to see if it was something I actually wanted to use. And there's little flecks of glitter in it, and that's not a cute look for anyone. So I'm going to pass on this, and instead I am going to use my Morphe Brow Cream in the color Hazelnut. This is also under $10, but I completely forgot I had it until I was going through my collection trying to find a replacement for the Milani one. And it's actually really hard to find drugstore brow products that are under $10, so um, this is a great option. So I'm just gonna fill in my brows as I normally would. So next I'm gonna grab a bit of foundation on a Morphe E43 flat definer brush and just clean up my brow because I always get a little bit messy when I'm doing them. So next I'm going to move on to the face. I normally do the eyes first, but uh, today I just wanted to switch things up. So for foundation primer, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I really like this one. It's just always really worked for me. It has never really let me down, so um, I enjoy it. I especially like it with the um, matching foundation, and that's what I'm going to use next. So for foundation, I am going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Porcelain. I did want to mention that I am aware that the shade range is not the best for this particular foundation. So um, I just wanted to give a few suggestions for other affordable, cruelty-free brands. So I wanted to give a few other options for those who may have a skin tone that is a little harder to match. I know that the Makeup Revolution Foundation has a really good shade range and is affordable. Um, I believe the Catrice Foundation also has a good shade range. I could be wrong about that one. I'm fairly certain that the LA Girl uh, Foundations do have quite a bit of shades as well, so that's always an option. There are increasingly more options at the drugstore for a wider range of skin tones. It's definitely not where we want to be quite yet, but it is getting better at least. At least there's steps in the right direction. Next, I'm going to go into concealer, and for that I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. I really like this. I've tried it a few times, and it's definitely a really good affordable option. So I'm going to use this to conceal my dark circles and I'm also going to use this on top of the um, eyelids to prime. Also, if you hear that beeping throughout the video, I am really sorry. My apartment building is testing out the uh, fire alarms in every single unit of the building. So um, I kind of have no say in it. Then to set everything, I'm going to use my RCMA No Color Powder. I'm also going to set my eyelids with this powder. Then I'm also going to take a little bit on the brush and just set my face. I really like a lot of powder. You don't have to use as much as I do, but I'm so oily, so I need it. Okay, so now I've already done one eye, so I've kind of planned out what I want to do with my eyeshadow. I am going to use my Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. Um, funny story, as I was doing my eyeshadow for this eye, I dropped it, 
And now this shade is just crumbled. So for now, I just kind of pushed it in there. So I'm gonna be really gentle with this palette so that pigment doesn't fly everywhere. I'll fix it later, but um, I was right about to film, so I don't really have time. So that's actually the first shade I'm gonna dip into is this top transition shade. And I'm just gonna pick that up on a big fluffy brush and blend it into my crease and upwards. I also just laid down some of the RCMA No Color Powder just to catch any fallout that I may have. I forgot to do that first. Next, I'm going to go into this deeper transition shade and I'm just going to place that tighter into the crease. So I'm keeping this color a lot lower since it is significantly darker. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of my foundation and cut my crease. Now that I've done that, I'm going to dip my brush into this shade right here. It's kind of a duochrome shade. And I'm just using a flat brush just to press that into where I put the concealer. Next I'm going to dip my brush into this really dark blackened green that's beside the shade we just previously used. And I'm just going to pack that onto the outer corner and then blend it up ever so slightly into the crease. And I'm just going to take this little blender brush that we used for the second brown shade. It has no additional product on it and I'm just going to blend out the black green that we just applied. And that is it for eyeshadow. So I'm just going to take my brush and swoop away any fallout. Now I'm going to use eyeliner and I am going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. This is actually one of my favorite liquid liners, um, period, drugstore or high end. I just find that it's really easy to use and control, especially for a liquid liner. Okay, so obviously I had a hard time staying in frame as I always do when doing my eyeliner. So I'm just gonna move on to the lower lash line. I'm gonna use this transition shade again, the light one. And I'm just gonna take this and run it under the eyes. Then for pencil liner, I'm going to use the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil. This is in the shade Hot Chocolate. And I'm just gonna line my waterline with this. I actually really like this pencil. This is my first time using it. I bought it specifically for this video. It's very pigmented, so depending on how it wears, this could be a hidden gem. Then for mascara, I am taking the Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour Mascara. Tati raves about this one, so I trust her because she's my favorite beauty guru, so, so I am going to coat my top and bottom lashes. It's a nice mascara, especially for like $5. It's really not bad. I kind of expected a little bit more. I kind of like more wet mascaras and this one's a little more dry. Then for false lashes, I'm going to use the Ardell Foam Ink Wispies. I really love the Foam Ink line from Ardell, so I'm going to apply these off camera. Um, my lash glue isn't under $10, I don't think. I'm gonna use the House of Lashes one because that's the only one that doesn't irritate my eyes. Okay, so I have applied my lashes. These ones don't actually add too much length, they just add some volume to my natural lashes. So now what I'm gonna do is add some bronzer. I'm gonna use the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder for lighter skin. I am terrified because this looks very orange. The Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer is like my all-time fave, but I couldn't find any bronzers that were under $10 except for this one. If you have any drugstore bronzers that you love that are under $10, let me know because this one looks like it's gonna be too orange. I don't really have high hopes for it. Yeah, it's a bit orange toned, but um, it's not terrible, but I put way too much on my nose. How did that happen? That's funny. there that's a bit better <laughs> so you know I'm just bronzing up the face but I'm not trying to add too much because I don't want to look like a new Loompa. okay this bronzer was actually not half bad um, it's not my all-time favorite especially not at the drugstore however it is a decent option um, and it's not pricey at all so okay so I just um, added a little bit of bake along my contour just to sharpen everything up and now I'm gonna move on to blush I'm going to use the wet n wild color icon blush in the shade mellow wine I've used this before in tutorials I really really like this shade it's a really good 
blush formula. I had a hard time saying that. So I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit. I was gonna use a Milani blush, but those are over $10 in Canada. Why are those over $10 in Canada? I don't understand. So I'm kind of hot. So I already have pretty rosy cheeks. So I'm really not gonna add much at all. Now for highlighter, I'm going to take the e.l.f. and Heart Defensor collab and I am going to obviously use the lighter side. The dark side would be way too dark for me. This highlighter is really good and I like that you have two options so anyone can buy this highlighter and be happy. This one would be perfect. is perfect for light gals like me. This one would be perfect for beautiful ladies of color. And then if you're kind of in between, you can always mix the two. It's perfect. So for me today, I'm just taking the lighter side and I am just going to apply this to my cheekbones. Okay, and now for lips, I am going to outline my lips using my favorite lip pencil. This is the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Toulouse. I don't know how to pronounce that. I seriously love this lip liner. I will even choose it over high-end ones. I love this color. Even like today, I'm going to go for something a little bit deeper. I like to add some definition to my lips and this is like the perfect way. It's just a little bit darker than my natural lip color. And then to top it all off, I'm going to use the Hard Candy Cashmere Silk Demi Matte Cream Lip Color in the shade Tartufo? Tartufo? I'm really not sure. It's like a deep red. It doesn't come off this color though once it's on the lips. It is a bit deeper, but not nearly as deep as it appears in the tube. It isn't the most pigmented shade, but it's not patchy at all. And I wouldn't say it's a demi matte. I would call this a gloss. It's like a sheer gloss. Okay, so update. Um, I had a lash catastrophe, so I had to switch my lashes. I instead used the e.l.f. Lux Lash Kit for Maximum Drama. They don't really have a style. Yeah, it just says Lux Lash Kit. So I don't know, but uh, I got these for $4, so that's great. This is the completed look. It is so pretty, and especially for having every product be under $10, I think that's pretty great. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below and maybe make a suggestion as to what you would like to see next. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you next time. Bye!